and already. We're at the 2017 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships, which took place in Johnson City, Tennessee. This is round one, part one at Wing Deer Park Disc Golf Course. Uh, fit in the uh, pins for the original pins there. Uh, Prodigy did bring. It's a lot harder to get up there than what it looks. Yes. like a very good shot from Vanessa as well. Two perfect okay. shots are from Val. Looks like Vanessa's trying to do the same. And she does. Nice. These ladies are tearing it up on this bag <laughs> now. Yeah. Setting it even. And we're moving down to hole number two. She's definitely got a putt from there. Vanessa going with a standstill shot here. You can see that tee is, uh, this is, like I said, 18 brand new tee pads for this course put in by Johnson City. This one's on a bit of a raised platform there, so looks like she's doing this for safety reasons, I would assume. It is a shorter hole, but it's kind of, I think, a tomahawk over the top and executed very nicely. She actually went past the basket, as you saw there. Wow, let's get up from Vanessa. Vanessa after her perfectly executed up shot. Nice little tap in. Really four over for Kona and nine over for Danielle. Moving on to hole number. She might have a look at a putt from there. Looks like maybe a fairway driver Vanessa's throwing here. It's hard to tell. She's going a bit on the right, or the left side, I'm sorry. Gotta love the look of those brand new baskets. Yeah, very nice. Danielle being, I'm sorry, <laughs> Vanessa. Vanessa with a par. We're starting out on 385 foot, hole number four. It's a good shot right there. She's going to be looking at a soft approach from there. Next on the tee, we've got Prodigy sponsored Vanessa Van Dyken. Vanessa actually won the Conopy State Open back in May of this year. Some great tournament coverage right there at Conopy State, and it was great seeing her here, being able to film her after seeing her win that. Definitely. Kind of cool being able to put somebody on film for the first time, so I really enjoyed being able to do that. Vanessa's got a just a soft little putter approach shot here. She goes a little bit long. She's gonna have a pretty long comebacker. Vanessa's comebacker for her par. Hmm, a little bit low. So she's gonna be carding a bogey. Uh, up one right now. Moving on to hole number five. It's 200. Pretty good shot right there. She's got a long putt. Vanessa, I love to see her line up her shot each time yeah. on the on the tee. It's a interesting style. I've actually never seen anybody line it up like that, but it seems to work out for her. Definitely. Looking like a great line. Oh. Oh, does the tree. Mm-hmm. No luck with the trees on this one. <laughs> Vanessa's still looking at a jump putt. Looks like she just laid that one up. I'm just Sorry. happy to... But Vanessa and Danielle also going to tap in for their thrust this weekend. He did catch Cam for us. Hung out with us all weekend. So huge shout out to you. A little bit of problem off the tee on this hole mm -hmm. for Danielle. You can see uh, Nate Doss there, the husband of Valerie Jenkins, watching as uh, Vanessa Van Dyke and tees off here. That's looking like, that was a beautiful shot right there. Good run for Vanessa here, but she's got to feel good about that turnover forehand. Yeah, that was a great shot.
right there. Moving on to hole number seven, it's 301 feet. Shout out to Steve. He was spotting all weekend, so huge thanks to him for spotting. And uh, our buddy Ross Tester actually was on hole four where yes. we started, so shout out to all the spotters this weekend. That's looking like a great shot right there from Vanessa if it'll flex wow. out. That's a good shot. She's yeah. got a putt right there. She was definitely running that one. Vanessa had the longest drive. You can see she's got a putt here. Um, looks like she might have just laid where they started throwing on this hole that I was thinking these ladies were probably just trying to... Moving on to hole number eight. It's a 426 foot putt or you want it to glide as far as you can and fade a little to the left uh, away from the trees on the right side. It's fairly open on the left side, so not too much danger over there. Looks like Vanessa's gonna be going to the same kind of shot. That's what you gotta feel good about that one. Definitely. It's time to put the uh, time to put the five in the past and move along. She says. <laughs> oh my God, Another grade up. Mm -hmm. Tapping in and walking away with threes. Vanessa with her three. Uh, the the lead of this card here. I'm not sure what's going on on the other cards basket. There's Amanda right there in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa going with the turnover shot as well. Mm. A little bit too much on it. She ended up in the right side also. He's right there in front of the basket. Vanessa wasting no time there. You can see her boyfriend. One thing I noticed from uh, filming Vanessa is uh, I like how she. Kona and Ashley sent it one over. Moving on to hole number 10. A little bit more she would have been out. And that would have been very close to the basket. She did hit that tree and ended up in the middle of the fairway. Glad she didn't kick over to the right side in those thick woods though. Vanessa also going with a turnover. Mm. Oh, no. Almost split the tree. Uh -huh. It's a good approach there to so utilize that kind of shot. Yeah. I know Val uses it a lot, mm -hmm. and she's really, really good at it. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa looking to make this comebacker for uh, a par here. Great putt. Looks like Val's sitting at one down now, moving on to hole 11. 253 for the pin if it didn't hit that. Now that tree was uh, trimmed up a bit. Uh, it was actually all the way to the ground there. Uh, and it was trimmed up for this tournament. There's been so much uh, work by Johnson City. They poured all these 18 new tee pads for this course. And uh, they got new baskets. Great birdie from Vanessa right there. She absolutely parked this hole. I was still sitting at one down. Moving on to hole number 12. This is the last. She's got a putt for a birdie. It's a very good shot there. This has to be one of my favorite holes on the course. It's just fun to just take a putter and toss it down through there and See how far you can get. There's actually an alternate, yeah, interesting experience for her during her first round of 
2017 US WDGC. Yeah. That was a great upshot Danielle had there. She's laying right beside the basket, so great to see her make. Easy tap in there, no problem. Hole number 13 is 270 foot. It goes uh, kind of straight, and she's definitely got a look at the basket from there. Next, we have Vanessa Van Dyken, and she's from California. Vanessa's Prodigy sponsored. Looks like she's going to be going to the backhand turnover. Maybe a little bit of a hyzer flip. She also ends up on the left side. There's a lot of stuff over there, but... And it's on the left side here. Got a lot of trees to deal with, but she has, does have a look at the basket. Great upshot. Wow. He was giving these ladies props as they were making their shots. Another great putt. Uh, that's not one of the easier holes on the course so moving on to hole 14 246 feet this one actually has another uh, a new pin location uh, it used to play just uh, slightly shorter and more to the left on a raised pin but now you can see the basket straight down through the fairway there you want to do exactly what Vanessa's done here it's a very good shot she's got a putt for that she's very aggressive in her game and I actually made the comment I said that, that she was fearless <laughs> absolutely she goes for it yeah. wow. great putt great that's putt. a good birdie putt from Van Valerie now sitting at one down <laughs> moving on to hole 15 one of the longer holes on the course 443 foot tunnel shot straight down the middle as you can see the basket off to the right say most of these ladies are gonna be going for a hyzer flip Looks like what Vanessa has lined up here. Great execution. Faded out a little bit early on and she ended up in... You can see here Vanessa definitely ended up in a bit of a rough spot. She's just going to be tossing out, trying to trying to pitch out as far as she can, and try and steal card birdie three. She did make it out. Vanessa looking for the birdie three, and a great putt. That's it on that hole. Val sitting at two down and Vanessa now at one down. Moving on to hole 16, the longest hole on the course, 577 feet, and it's marked as a par five for this tournament. Got Vanessa on the tee first. Looks like she's going to be going with a roller. That's going to be a common play here. You definitely have to put a good angle on it and get over on it quite a bit to have it keep going up because, as you can see, there is a hill going down to the left, and that's what can happen if you don't quite get that angle on it. Unfortunately, we're gonna have a little bit of work to do. Looks like Vanessa's just gonna try and toss one up and uh, for a placement shot here. Perfect. Basket there. See what Vanessa can do. It's looking like a great shot if it'll fade. Perfect. Close. It's ready to move on to the next hole. Vanessa with another birdie. Three birdies in a row, right? Yep, that's a turkey. <laughs> Moving on to hole number 17, 286 feet. This one is a dog leg right, plays downhill. This is a fun little hole to come out here and play. One of my favorite holes on the course, myself being a lefty, it plays perfect for me. 
<laughs> Vanessa going with a turnover shot. And oh my. Hopefully Vanessa can convert hers and have a fourth birdie straight. Wow. And she does. Great birdie from Vanessa. Card. And uh, Valerie is at two down. Moving on to hole 18, 364 foot. It's a par three and it plays uh, straight down the fairway, turns to the right, and then the basket's up straight. So it's uh, another one of those very interesting fairways. Like I said in the first round, uh, or I'm sorry, the front nine. A lot of short holes, but interesting fairways. Mm. Mm. Vanessa on the right side, that did very happy. <laughs> the whole card was happy about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, they were all telling her good job and all that. Beautiful drive there. See, Vanessa had uh, some awkward, an awkward stance here in the right side. She's just gonna look and try and bite off a little bit more of that fairway. And that was absolutely perfect. That's about as good as quite as far as she wanted it to, but she has a putt. Looks like Vanessa's running this. I'm surprised because she's really far out. Looks like she's going to try and do a jump putt. Not a bad effort at all. She's there from Kona. She's been having a bit of troubles with the putter during this round. Hopefully she can pick that back up in some of the later rounds during the tournament. Vanessa probably happy to take a four after landing in the right side. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say Innova. Yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies. God, give me them. Championships. I'm going to give me some and I'm going to keep on grinding to the millions come.